as everything's immutable, what is your current collateral composition? And are you looking at any ways to add new types of collateral in the future? Sure. So, I mean, right now we only take Ether as a collateral also to be kind of na defined native. So not kind of any real world assets or assets that can be frozen. Um, and because we're immutable, I mean, for liquidity, that version, that's it. So uh, it's um, kind of set in stone. Of course, uh, we think there are uh, interesting other collateral, other collaterals, inter especially interest bearing collaterals. So really looking into that, analyzing that, um, but this would need to be then something that we do in, a, in another version. So it's, we, we need to think more like Uniswap, you know, you have a Uniswap version 2, it's great, it's out there. If you want to improve something, you create a new version of liquidity. And um, yeah, so I think uh, uh, we are following w what others are doing and what, what, what would make sense or especially what users are, are demanding. And, and I think, for example, stuff like staked ETH uh, is, is, is really a need we see out there. How about other chains? Are you looking to expand outside of Ethereum? Um, I mean, it's a bit difficult with stable coins because you issue a coin, it needs to be fungible. Um, you don't want to spread the risk on too much changes and bridges. So, so that's really a risk. So we are very careful there to keep the, the system solid. So the main route we're looking into is collaborating with uh, layer twos or, or bridges to bring LUSD to other chains chains and not kind of the main borrowing system. And for example, uh, there are interesting approaches we are exploring uh, with, with AdStack, how they can borrow on mainnet, but still cheaply on, on an L2 and uh, access that. So I think this is really exciting where, where we put most focus and energy into.